Mayor Bowser's entire public safety team, along with federal partners, including D.C. Superior Court's chief judge and the U.S. attorney who prosecutes the vast majority of cases in D.C., were all in the same room with dozens of other law enforcement and business organizations. Bowser called the summit to find solutions to the rise in crime critical introspection uh, about what is working and what is not working and what needs to change. One of the concerns, the U.S. Attorney's Office recently acknowledged it doesn't prosecute about 67% of the people who D.C. police arrest. Today, the U.S. Attorney said most of those cases are nonviolent misdemeanors and pointed to how police make those arrests and D.C.'s crime lab being closed as reasons some cases don't get prosecuted. If we cannot prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the suspected substance is a drug, then we can't prosecute. That's been a big part of the story. In one instance, uh, it was deemed that there wasn't enough uh, of a basis for the stop to have occurred in the first place, and a court likely would have suppressed the, uh, the gun, said the stop was constitutionally not valid. In other instances, there was more investigation that needs to be done. Bowser pushed back at the crime lab's closure being an issue, pointing out federal prosecutors have the ability to have outside labs test drugs. Conti also pushed back. When they make that decision not to move that case forward, it doesn't mean that the police officers did something wrong. One of the few non-government representatives invited to the summit was Raheem Jenkins, who spent years in the D.C. government working with young people convicted of crimes and now advocates for justice reform. He hopes some changes will come from today's summit. It's untreated trauma that we're looking at. This is a very angry generation, and I think that it's we need to retrain, rethink our intervention methods. There's a lot of money being spent, and there's a lot of things that are not working. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. Now, the public was not allowed to attend today's summit, although the mayor's office did live stream portions of it. Mayor Bowser says one change she'll propose is a change to the law that would require judges to hold suspects charged with violent crimes until their trial if they have a history of repeat violent offenses.